Hey everyone, and welcome to my new Civilization 6 game. So this time I'll be playing one of the most interesting map mods I've seen in a long time. Alternate Cartography. It actually has six different map scripts, and I might end up playing all of them because they are all interesting. But for this game I'll be playing on the Fjord map, which is basically a large number of small islands surrounded by mountain ranges. And I will be playing on Deity as usual, and I will be playing as Robert De Bros, because I never really played a full game as Scotland, and they are pretty interesting. Uh, I enabled a bunch of game modes, so Barbarian Clans, Heroes and Legends, Monopolies and Corporations, and the Secret Societies. It does make the game more interesting in my book, I like playing with them. And uh, that's about it, let's get started. So as Scotland, we'll probably want to have some friends and allies to take advantage of War of Liberation later, and we definitely want to keep our cities happy, where possible. So let's take a look then, shall we? Here's our starting location. Not too bad. So I could settle on spot which is a hill, so that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I think settling on spot will be fine. The alternative is settling over here and then building a harbor. But on this map, it might be nice to be able to get naval units before a harbor, just to explore. So I like a directly coastal location in this case. And I like settling on a hill, we'll have a river, We'll have all kinds of resources in range, so this is good. There's a reef over here. Alright, let's settle on spot. There we go. That gives us sailing boost. And we want to open with a scout. Alright, this looks good. We'll have two tiles with two food to production right away. And uh, we can get the other stone pretty soon. The border might even expand on its own, and if not, I will be buying that stone, because that's another tile with two food to production. Alright, so let's grab mining, because we'll want to improve the stone, obviously. And we'll take a look around. We'll grab that goodie hat. Here's another luxury, salt. Okay. Void Singers, and we got a scout, nice. Okay, that probably means I don't need this scout anymore. I could still get a third one, but I think it's best if we switch to a builder instead. We can finish that scout later, so let's switch to a builder. Especially on this map, we might not have that much land to explore with scouts and I will want a builder as soon as possible. And I'm going to grab a Magnus to get provision. A Leon. So Magnus it is then. And let's go explore some more. Here's a barbarian camp. I probably want to get rid of that one. And yeah, we can see some mountains already. The maps in this mob are generally meant to be more challenging than standard maps, which I do like. Yeah, let's get rid of this barbarian camp, because I don't want them spawning units. I'll have to heal myself up a little, but that's alright. Yeah, let's heal up, I don't want to lose my only warrior, that would be bad. Here's two population. Yeah, we'll keep working to food to production tiles to speed up our production. Let's see how much land we got. Oh yeah, and uh, I do have a few new mods I haven't used previously. So I'm using Socritax Resources, which is a really nice mod that adds a bunch of new resources. And I'm using a few UI mods. The one that shows relations. The way Civ 5 used to show them, like to you'll see once we meet some shore. other AIs. Like. Okay, astrology, because we found 
and now shall wander. Right, so I could go for a religion, since we busted astrology. I might do that. Still, let's finish mining, obviously. When you find yourself in a I do not like all this desert around here, but oh well. Good news is I might be able to build Petra. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Okay, we gained some experience. I would have preferred like plus one population, but it's fine. So let's go for astrology. And I will build that holy site. We can probably get a religion. Uh, right, I will stay fortified. Uh, actually, we should back up because of that quadrium. Improve the stone right away. I still do not need that scout. So uh, let's actually build a monument here. And then we can get the settler. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have a whole lot of land, but there might be some over here. We'll find out. Heal up. Here's masonry boost. I suppose I could kill them more easily with a slinger. But I don't want that monument. I mean, they're not really a big threat. I'm not worried about one barbarian camp. And it's unlikely they will be able to get a scout and then actually find my city. Now that I have this warrior in the way. So I don't think we should be worried about barbarians. Uh, eight turns until border growth. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get a farm here. That gives us irrigation boost. And then I can save the last charge to get the citrus, maybe. We could get irrigation after astrology. So astrology, pottery, and then irrigation. Something like that. Keeping our cities happy will be our priority. Because of this bonus here. Alright, so let's save that last build for now. We're about to get the discipline. So discipline and the god king. Here you go. Yeah, this is a lot of desert. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. It's a little bit too much desert. That will make this challenging. But maybe I can send a settler elsewhere. It's just that I'll need to embark to do that. But we'll worry about that later. Let's get started on craftsmanship. Grab that goodie hat, plus 40 gold. Looks like that's the end of our island here. At least that seems to be the case. Uh, pick up the promotion. Okay, we can move back in now and kill this guy. Here's a promotion. Now I could just leave them alone and uh, let them convert into a city-state, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Especially with all this desert to the east. We want to settle a city here. Because I don't exactly have a lot of options for city settlement. This is definitely one of them. Yeah, I think uh, finding another landmass will be our top priority here. This is not enough space. It looks like I will probably lose the warrior. So we could pick up the promotion first and then remove the barbarian camp. Yeah, let's pick up tortoise here and then we can remove the barbarian camp. I want to save my warrior if possible and we will get attacked by that quadrim. So this Perth clan, that gives us military tradition. I probably didn't need to finish that scout, but all right, it's fine. So now we want the holy site, obviously. We can get a plus two over here. That's an option. What else? It's not ideal because of the citrus next to it. So that means I will not be able to build any more districts next to it. 
this would be a decent alternative. It would only be a plus one, but I would be able to build districts next to it in the future. Also, uh, let's maybe plan a few things here. So this could be a dam right here. Probably should be. Uh, where will the second city be? There are some interesting options here for the industrial district placement. I'll have to think about that. However, we want that holy site. So it's either here for an immediate plus two, or here for a plus one, but potentially slightly higher in the future. And also, I would only spend 50 gold to buy this. I can always save this spot for a campus. It won't be an amazing campus, but it's still going to be a plus two. Alright, let's go for this spot right here. So that's eight turns. Maybe a little bit faster. Yeah, seven turns, okay. And now we can improve the stone and the boss craftsmanship and move away from the barbarians. Right, well, the scouts will not be very useful until I can embark, which will take a little bit of time. Here, there's the craftsmanship boss, and now we have some pretty decent production, considering this is only turn 24. Heal up. Nothing left to explore here. Yep, we're done exploring. Without craftsmanship. There's craftsmanship. I do not need discipline anymore. Uh, we are keeping God King. Here, in case I decide to get a few units. I could probably get a slinger and attack that quadrim or something like that. That could work. We'll see about that. So we'll finish the holy side. And I suppose I don't have to rush the settler that much. There's no risk that somebody will settle next to me, because there's no one here. We obviously still want to get our cities as soon as possible, but I don't have to rush that settler. We'll get a shrine. I want to make sure I'll get the religion. So we will make sure we'll get the religion. Pottery almost done. I thought clay must... There we go, so next up irrigation. Or we can just go for sailing to get the galley ASAP. With that said, I want a settler after the shrine, and then we can get the galley after the settler. So let's actually get animal husbandry to reveal horses. See if we actually have any. Because I don't have a builder right now anyway, and I can't afford to buy one, so... There's not much point to rush irrigation, because I will not be improving the citrus yet anyway. We can wait. Right, you can stay inside the city, it doesn't really matter. Almost for population now. There's foreign trade. Not changing the policies. So next up, state workforce then early empire and then political philosophy. We should be able to get six population, I think. As for the Pantheon, let's see what's actually available here. We could go for Divine Spark, we could go for God of the Sea. On this map that might be fine. What else? Pastures. I don't think there are enough. Stone circles is an option, but there won't be that many quarries, honestly. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think we have enough plantations either to justify goddess of festivals. So I think it will be either fertility rites or god of the sea 
or a divine spark. God of the Sea is nice. It won't be a tremendous amount of production, but it's always extra production. And on this map, we should be able to get quite a few sea-based resources. So, God of the Sea. Now, I won't actually get any production from it yet, because I don't have any improved sea resources, but we'll get them soon enough. That's not a problem. Alright, so now we can get the settler. Now, I don't want to get provision before we actually finish that settler, but we'll be getting that, don't worry. I could actually get a builder first and then get the settler. Or we could run Holy Side Prayers just to make sure we get if that religion. No in so let's run Holy Side Prayers and then we can switch to a settler. Next up, irrigation. I don't think I'll be killing any more barbarians unless they spawn a new camp. And we don't want to know if we have iron. So let's actually get started on bronze working here. There we go, we got holy side prayers. Let's check the status. Only one other sieve is working on it at the moment. I will not be building Stonehenge, that takes too much time. And there's no guarantee I would actually get it. Okay, we want to do one turn of something else. So we could do one turn of granary and then switch to settler. Oh, okay, now it's eight turns. All right. Uh, well, eight turns is actually fine, hold on. Uh, let's finish that granary. Change of plans. It's good to have a granary anyway. Okay, I could get a Dark Age to try getting a Heroic Age, but we got eight more turns, so I'll probably get one more Era score whether I want to or not. Probably not much point trying to avoid it. We will get that one era score, no matter what I do, I think. I'm pretty sure we will. It is equally important Here's state workforce. I don't need God King anymore. We can switch to something else. So, will I be getting another builder soon? Yes, probably. So we could get Ilkum. Or we could just get urban planning. Let's get Ilkum. And uh, not much point switching the military policies right now. Actually, I can get the Maritime Industries to get at least one naval unit out after the settler. Alright, and now we can pick up provision. Here you go. So now we'll finish the settler. I will not be waiting. Oh, hold on. Here's a barbarian camp. It's a little bit far away. I don't think I want to wait to maybe kill three barbarians. Oh, okay, here's a scout. Let's cut him off and kill him. I could try, but it's a bit of a stretch. I think it's best to just finish bronze working, because I would like to know where Aaron is before I settle the city, because that might change where exactly I want to settle it. I want to know whether we have it or not. And I don't think I can kill three barbarians very quickly. Not really, it will take some time. We can kill this guy, but that means I would need two more. And that camp is just too far away, in my opinion. You guys heal up. So let's finish bronze working. We're up to five pop now. So we'll get six pop easily. I mean, this new city will be worth one pop, but even without it, we'll get six population in six turns. Oh, we did actually get a Dark Age. That's good, that's good. Maybe we can get a Heroic Age after that. This is actually good. So, free inquiry. Like so, there's the Settler. Okay, so next up we can grab that builder, but... Uh, right, we want sailing. 
to get a galley. Let's get the builder then. And then we can get a galley after we finish sailing. Okay, barbarian galley, that's fine. And yeah, we do have Aaron right here. That's good. That's very good. Any horses around here or none? I guess none. Uh, just to make sure I'm not missing any. Yeah, no, there aren't any. But we have Aaron. So that's fine. I can live without horses. I think Aaron is more important than that. Obviously, I would prefer to have both, but I guess we will not be getting both. Great person. Oh yeah, right. That's our great prophet, obviously. So, let's see. We will found our religion here. Uh, right, it doesn't really matter. What do we want? Work ethic is available. I don't think I'll be able to take advantage of work ethic all that much. I mean, sure, I can get some okay holy sites, but none of them will be amazing. It might actually be better to pick up Jesuit education for this game. That's what I'm thinking. So let's actually get a Jesuit education. And uh, for our belief... Probably one of the buildings. Honestly, I really like Gurdwaras because of their yields, plus free faith, plus two food, and plus one housing. I really like that plus one housing. So let's go with that. This is pretty decent. Yep, works for me. Done. That's plus three era score, so that will help. We are going to need 33 to get a heroic age. I'll try. Now, where exactly do we want this city here? Good question. I'm thinking maybe right here. Or right here. Or I could settle on top of the salt. It might not be a terrible idea to settle on top of the salt. That way we'll have the river. We'll have a directly coastal city. We'll still have that fish to the west. I'll have all the resources in the area in range. Yeah, I think we'll settle on top of the soul here. Works for me. Okay, don't kill my scout, thank you very much. Back over the past. There we it's go. Changing empires. There's early empire as well. Because that's six pop. Alright, we'll open with a monument. Let me check the yields. Yeah, I probably want to buy a tile. Let's buy the salt, otherwise the city will not grow. We probably want to send a builder here to get a few improvements. Otherwise it will not grow very well. But first, let's get the citrus. House irrigation. We can get that after sailing. So... I guess I'll have to wait a little. And for our next item here, let's do one turn of a trader and then switch to galley. That works. Another governor title. Uh, so now I could pick up another governor. I think getting aquaculture early on would be quite useful, especially with all this desert around here. So I'm going to grab Liang. And then we can get aquaculture early. Yep. Especially once we settle a city close to the Dead Sea. That's a lot of desert. They're sailing, now we can switch to a galley. I need to find some of the AIs to have some sort of trading partner. Oh yeah, and we need to get fishing boats because of our Pantheon. So let's get those. Obviously. And then the other one. Really? You're actually going to attack my city here? Uh, that's slightly annoying, but alright. Not sure if I have the time to get a slinger right now, but okay, we can get a slinger. Mysticism. Wasn't quite my plan, but whatever. 
another fishing boat that gives us celestial navigation boost. For the next civic, yeah, political philosophy. And a city-state just met us, good. Let's go south. Let's see if we can uh, go west. Yeah, I can see some land over here, that's good. That's very good. Now we can get the citrus after irrigation. Uh, Jerusalem. Uh, that's actually pretty nice. It's a religious city-state and we don't have a religion. There are better religious city-states than that, but I'll take it. Go away. Thousands have lived without. Okay, another scout coming. I will get that slinger if only to attack these barbarian ships over here. Okay, we can settle here. So we probably want to rush a shipbuilding as soon as possible to be able to embark with settlers. Because until then I can only embark with the builders. Alright, I will want a campus or two. So let's get started on writing. I assume we'll meet another civilization pretty soon. Now that I got that galley. Hopefully we will. A natural wonder. Okay, that's a pretty nice one too. Okay, that's a very nice one. Plus two food, plus two culture, plus one gold. And plus one food to adjacent tiles. Very nice. I definitely want that. Oh, this is an amazing wonder, actually. We definitely want a city here. We need to rush shipbuilding and secure that location. Is there anyone nearby? No, there is not, because there's no loyalty pressure over there. That's actually amazing. I hope we can get it. We'll find out. Now I need to meet another sieve. <laughs> you know, on the other hand, I hope there's not any sieve around here, because I don't want anyone to beat me to that location, you know? Okay, now I can finish that trader. It won't be an amazing trade route, it will be an internal trade route. Or maybe we can trade with Jerusalem. Uh, but having a trader would still be good. Nobody built Stonehenge. I could try to build Hanging Gardens. That's 14 turns. It's a nice wonder. Okay, let's actually try to build that. Maybe I can speed it up a little. Okay, 12 turns. And the city will still grow. Okay, let's give it a shot. Maybe we can get it. I could maybe get a builder and then chop a forest. But I would have to use gold to buy one. 230. That's probably worth it. I think that's worth it. Okay, let's do it. I think we can almost guarantee getting the Hanging Gardens that way. Unless somebody is building it right now and about to finish it. Hopefully not. Now, give me an AI. Here's a city-state. Religious conversion quest. Yeah, we can do that. Most likely. We were also the first to meet Jerusalem, because we have one envoy, but we were not the first to meet Taruga. Which means there's another sieve somewhere in the area. Hopefully we can meet them to boast writing. So let's switch to something else, because the idea is to boast writing. Yeah, what should that be? I think we should just get started on shipbuilding. I need that. Okay, that's maybe a few barbarians too many. Right there. We should go back. Uh, yep, we should definitely go back. I'll stick that slinger into the city and then we can keep attacking that quadrim. Get some experience and hopefully get rid of him. So, remove the forest, that's 54 production. That's six more turns and I can remove the other one. I probably want mines on these tiles anyway. Here, okay, Georgia. I should be able to stay friendly with her. That gives us writing. 
Let's maybe send a delegation to try to stay friendly. That would be nice. Okay, go into the city and get rid of that quadrim. Uh, move the scouts in this general direction to block the way. And I think I'll chop the other forest here. That should finish hanging gardens. Yep, and then we can uh, switch our production to something else. Let's see if we can meet a third city-state to boast political philosophy. Here we go, we got hanging gardens. Stairs. And it... So that's also plus two housing in our capital. We are at 12 housing now. This should be a pretty nice city in the long run. Now, what do we want next? We can get a campus here, but I will have to buy that tile, which I cannot do yet. We could get a government plaza. Now, if I'm going to get a government plaza, I need to plan my districts. So I should definitely do that. However, that's also going to be the end of this first episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm as is tradition. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.